He's peeling backwards. He's going uh, southbound on Wilcox in reverse. And he's coming at us. Shit. Shit. Shots fired! He hit my patrol car! He's been struck! This tank went on ramping almost 40 vehicles including police cars on the streets of San Diego. It was reported to be stolen by an ex-army veteran. But that's just one of many cases when insane individuals ram police cars and bind themselves to face the consequences like this crazy instance when LAPD cops unleash a barrage of bullets on the suspect who rammed multiple police cars. But first, let's have a look at this insane driver who intentionally crashes into police cars, injuring officers and a police K-9. Mark! Oh, On April 30th, 2023, Evesham police officers observed a vehicle exceeding the speed limit. When an officer attempted to initiate a traffic stop, the driver disregarded signals to pull over and even ran a red light. However, due to safety concerns for the public, the police discontinued the pursuit, but later recognized the driver outside his residence. Little did they know that the situation was about to take an unexpected turn. While the officers kept requesting the driver to step out of the vehicle, he switched on the engine and began to reverse knowing that there was a cop cruiser behind. This alarmed the cops that the driver had no intentions to cooperate easily. Come out of the car! Come out of the car! Come out of the car! No! Stay right there! Stay right there! We're out with him. Get out of the car! Mark! Mark, you will be shot if you that vehicle in park and drive. Mark, don't do it, Mark! I'll get my mom! Mark, don't do it! Don't do it! Get my car! Don't do it! Stop! Mark, don't do it! Get out of the car! Watch out, watch out! Watch out! As expected by the cops, the driver began to ram the cop cruiser while also attempting to run over the cops. However, backup units arrived to take control of the situation. But the driver had no plans of stopping as it was evident that he had lost rational thoughts. Watch out, watch out, Francie! Watch out, watch out, watch out, Frankie, Zach, watch out! Everyone get off the street, get out of the way! After going on a rampage, the driver hit a parked vehicle. That's when additional units took advantage of the situation and locked him in from front and behind, putting an end to bizarre crashes. All units stay off the road. Stay off the road. Everyone off the road. Good job.
But even after being corned by multiple cop units while all aiming at the driver he didn't bother complying and ultimately the cop had to break a side door window to have access to the inside of the vehicle. Let that vehicle drive, you will be shot! Get out! With your hands up! Get out of the, Get out of the car. car now! Get out of the car now! Hands up, car. Keep breaking. I, I got hands on him. Jack, stay back. Watch out. Watch out. See if I can. Pat, Pat, Pat. Other side. Pat. Other side. Oh, he's, he's moving. Crossfire, Sarge. Here, I, I got a window punch. I got a window punch. Oh, no, they got it. They got it. You got it. You got it. The driver identified as 24 years old Mark Ferraiolo was finally taken into custody after he left himself with a significant amount of bills to fix his car and a litany of charges including attempted murder of a police officer, aggravated assault on police, eluding an officer criminal mischief, and injuring a police canine the extent of the damage he caused was infuriating approximately $45,000 per police vehicle. But if you think this suspect was crazy enough to ram relentlessly into cop cruisers you have yet to witness this driver, who ramped into multiple cop cars surviving a rain of bullets. On August 9, 2023, the Los Angeles Police Department received multiple 911 calls reporting a reckless driver in a stolen government vehicle. According to the call it was involved in a hit and run case. However, when the police located the truck, a high-speed pursuit began. All right, he's going pursuit, bro. Yeah? Yeah. 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 DWP incident, eastbound went from Amboy, requested back with their ship to the Visor. Any rally traffic can be to connect 810 Lower Canyon Boulevard for a key injury incident 3627. Pursuit of the DDW suspect. The driver posed a significant threat to the safety of others and himself. He drove into a multi-unit business parking lot with no access to passage. The suspect continued up a steep narrow driveway and rammed through a secured metal gate into a secondary parking lot. And just when the cops thought they had cornered the suspect this happened. The impact was so strong that the suspect ended up losing one of the front tires while also striking a nearby van with a passenger inside, but the driver didn't just stop there. Even when the car was rendered motionless he pulled out a weapon to threaten the cop which resulted in shots fired. One person giving commands. Yeah, I'm telling them to be quiet. 
Tell, tell him we don't want to hurt him. We don't want to hurt him. We just, just want to get out. Okay, that's close Spanish enough. Only. We just hit, we, we got enough time. We got enough time. Grab some less lethal. Just grab some less lethal. Do you have any there? Taser? All right. The car's disabled, bro. It's not going anywhere. I need other units to uh, block uh, this side of the uh, parking lot. Hey, bring your car over here. Actually, bring your car over here on this side. Esther, can you move this shop up here? This shop right here, if you can. Stand by, stand by. Vehicle is coming forward now. Hey, you're in reverse. You're in reverse. You're in reverse. Or the, you're re disregard, disregard. All the way up here. Hold, hold it. Up here, up here, up here. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Right here. Stop, stop. Have to turn the vehicle. Hey, provide cover for this civilian to get out. But when the cops completely blocked the entire parking lot, filling it with cop cars as barriers, the driver again did the unexpected. Put some spike strips right here. Back up! Running the police car southbound on. You guys good? Everyone good? Hold her up! Hold her up! I got you! Holy shit! The driver was struck by gunfire that resulted in him being unable to operate the vehicle, putting this horrific ordeal to stop. Fortunately, his injuries were non-life-threatening. The suspect identified as 28-year-old Manuel Ramirez received care before being booked on suspicion of California Penal Code 245C, including assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer, with bail set at $152,000. Additionally, three officers were also injured in the incident. However, this suspect wasn't the only one who gained pleasure ramping into cop cars as our next suspect pretty much did the same over a simple argument. Due on October 4, 2020, the police responded to a residence following a call about some domestic disturbance. When they arrived at the scene, the suspect Jeffrey Gom could be heard agitated inside the house while the law enforcement tried to calm him down. Jeff, no. come out here and talk to me. Jeff, 
After the police officer witnessed the suspect hitting and breaking the window with his bare punch, he immediately realized that this wasn't going to be easy. However, the cop abstained from forced entering the home as it could lead to further escalation considering the prior action. We have medics on standby a subject breaking windows inside of the house. Back to you, he's refusing to come out. Jeff, you need to come outside. Fortunately, the suspect came outside the residence without having to hurt anyone inside, but when the cop thought it was over, the suspect did something no one thought about. Stop. 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 You need to stop. You need to stop. Six feet, six feet. The subject's kicking off on the car. He's pulling away from the house right now. Back to just ran, he just ran my vehicle. Jeff, stop! Stop! Jeff, stop! Stop! The suspect had just ramped the cop car twice without realizing that what could have just ended with a discussion if he had remained calm might now be turned into criminal mischief. Hands out wide! Hands out wide! Put your hands out! Put your hands out! Put your hands out! One at gunpoint. Hold on. Stop! Face down! Face down! Face down! Put your hands out! Out to your side! But soon after he pulled the little stunt, he realized that now he just had to comply with the police officer all while he kept yelling profanities at everyone. However, another officer arrived to put him in handcuffs. Jeff, stop! Too late! This motherfucker is already hurting! Well, too goddamn late, bitch! You wanna be, oh yeah, you're a big fucking sister. 6361 detain. Go ahead and have medics come in. Fuck you, sit up. I don't need to sit up. Get the fuck off of me. Get the fuck off of me. I don't wanna sit up. I don't wanna sit up. <clears throat> Even while being arrested, the suspect showed complete signs of disregard for the law and was charged with felony criminal mischief, resisting without violence, and was transported to the Marion County Jail, where he is being held without bond. Well, this suspect used his car to ramp a police cruiser, unlike this next suspect who had a full fledged tank in control. on May 17th, 1995. A routine day turned into a bizarre nightmare when Sean Timothy Nelson, a former Army vet, went on a rampage through the streets of San Diego stealing an M60A3 battle tank from the California Army National Guard Armory.
The suspect's actions left a trail Nelson's actions left a trail of destruction, crushing vehicles, knocking down road signs and cutting power to thousands of homes. The ensuing televised low-speed chase involving multiple law enforcement agencies gripped the nation as the colossal tank bulldozed its way through obstacles. Obviously, inside the tank, very disturbing individual who is in uh, very uh, serious need of uh, some help. Hopefully, the police are, uh, are trained to uh, handle this type of individual, this type of situation. There's another motorhome there, the other vehicle. Okay, then many of the other uh, vehicles have to pass by as well. Looks like he's taken out another fire hydrant. As the rampage reached its climax with the tank becoming stuck on a highway median, police moved in to confront Nelson. Despite attempts at negotiation, the standoff ended tragically when Nelson was fatally shot by law enforcement. Maneuverability in the tank, on the freeway, you can see the freeway oh, traffic. hit the wall. He's hit the wall, he's hit the median in the middle. I think this is going this to be the opportunity for the police this I think you're right, Owen, this is the perfect opportunity for the police to take it this median looks like it's slowing this tank down. Even, even the tank stop. He doesn't look to me like he's going anywhere. Please you think this opportunity to move in. There, there's no reason to believe that there will be any loss of life here because he isn't going anywhere. We should be able to extract him from the vehicle. Please moving in to apprehend the uh, suspect right now. And there's the tank. We may see the officers actually going up on the tank. There he is right there. You can see the officer going on the corner of the tank. In the aftermath, multiple opinions swirled regarding Nelson's motives. Some attributed his actions to feelings of betrayal by the Army in America, while others pointed to his struggles with substance abuse. But if you think this suspect was crazy enough, you have yet to witness this crazy man who decided to take on a cop cruiser head-on. The incident occurred on November 28, 2017. The incident occurred when a detective and deputy attempted to serve a search and arrest warrant at the man's home in Brookfield Township. The chase began after he left his residence in his truck, leading officers on a pursuit through rural roads. Got his flashers on, uh, slowing down at uh, Booty. I'm slowing down at uh, Booty. Feeling out, he's turning uh, northbound. He's about ready to come at, right at me. He police fatally shot a 64-year-old man after he drove his pickup truck at them, hitting two police vehicles and knocking a detective to the ground. Dash cam and body camera footage released later shows the man driving directly at the police vehicles, prompting the officers to fire at him. He died from a gunshot wound to the head. He's peeling backwards. He's going uh, southbound on Wilcox in reverse. And he's coming at us. Shit. Shit. Shots fired! He hit my patrol car! He's been struck! Are you okay? Are you okay? Garner's down. Shots are fired. He's peeling off into my car. He's been hit. Are you okay? Come here. I got you. He looks like he's down. Ingham County Prosecutor reviewed the shooting and determined that the officers acted lawfully, citing that they fired in response to the immediate threat posed by the man's actions. He was found to have a blood alcohol content of 0.19 at the time of his death. State police confirmed that he did not have a gun when he was shot. We're at Booty and Wilcox. He's been hit. He's down, but I think he's got his uh, 
uh, his foot is still on the gas. And Gardner's hurt. I think he got hit by a car. Hey, why don't you get behind me and get over behind this barricade here. Come here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be alright. Where'd you get hit? Well, this 64-year-old wasn't the only one who met with an untimely demise following his reckless decisions as something similar happened with the next suspect. Get out of the car now! Seen on November 11, 2021, before 6 a.m., the Nevada Highway Patrol received a call from the mother of 29-year-old Eric Legreed. She reported that her son was in a distressed state threatening to either shoot himself or drive into oncoming traffic to commit suicide. Legreed was driving a black 2021 Toyota Tacoma. Yeah, we contacted this guy earlier. He failed to stop for us at the fee booth. He's now at the visitor center. Uh, looks like the middle of the parking lot. I am gonna block him in. center on the parking lot you're gonna block him in metro and nhp is that with you get your hands up get your hands up now Legree drove through a campsite at red rock national conservation area leading law enforcement to the visitor center parking lot troopers tried to block him in but Legree rammed their vehicles in an attempt to escape To him up there. I believe it makes sense. Stop or I'll shoot! Stop or I'll shoot! Put your hands up now! Put your hands up now! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out of the car now! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! 5544, he just rammed it. Trooper. Get out of the car! Put your hands up now! Put your hands up now! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out of the car now! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! 5544, he just rammed it. Trooper. Get out of the car! Another officer then rammed his truck from the side, causing his airbags to deploy. As Legree tried to drive away with the deployed airbags obstructing the view inside the truck, officers opened fire, hitting him four times in the thighs. The NHP noted that they couldn't see into the truck due to the deployed airbags and were unsure if Legree was armed. No weapons were found in the vehicle. I hear noise, he's trying to get out! You hear something? Right behind you. Okay. <clears throat> he's trying to start it! Watch out, watch out! Oh shit, he's taking off! Watch out! Watch out! Stop the car! Stop the car! Get out! Hands up! Visitor center steel. We got his vehicle parked. We're uh, boxed in. Hands up! Get out of the car now! Lee Greed recovered from his injuries and faced several charges, including battery of a protected person, resisting a public officer, and damaging or destroying state property. The two involved NHP troopers were placed on paid administrative leave while the incident was investigated.